great one by Paul Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> What an honor it is to stand before all of you to participate in this induction of Craig Feldman into the CBE's Athletic Hall of Fame. I'm going to put this microphone down right now. <laughs> before I share with you my personal reflection on Craig's accomplishments, I would like to start with a few words from John Tomlinson, or JT. JT founded the CBE's wrestling program in 1969 and coached here for 34 years his 33rd being Craig's senior year. A CB East Athletic Hall of Famer himself, he sends this message. I apologize for not being there tonight. This ceremony is a great opportunity to honor an amazing athlete in Craig Feldman. As a freshman, Craig came with all the hype and credentials that suggested he had greatness. There were many others that came before him with those same credentials, but for one reason or another could not live up to those expectations. But Craig was different. He was driven by, driven by something inside him that told him failure was not an option. With the, with the support of his family, uh, Craig was able to accomplish what others before him could not. Four years of complete dominance on the mat uh, that had left him the winningest wrestler in school history. Congratulations, Craig. You are the man. <laughs> Craig's freshman year was filled with incredible highs and devastating lows. He was a major contributor to one of East's all-time greatest teams. Led by his captain and fellow CBE's Athletic Hall, Hall of Famer, John Schumann, Craig went undefeated in league competition and helped carry East to only its third conference title in school history. As the regular season was wrapping up, Craig was making big plans for his first run of the postseason, both individual and team championships. However, just days before it began, Craig was suddenly hospitalized with a potentially life-threatening situation. He needed emergency surgery. <clears throat> Though he had hoped and even tried uh, to get back Craig back on the mat, it was not to be. Craig's season and possibly his career was over. This became a de uh, defining moment for Craig. Uncertain if he was ever going to be able to compete again, Craig not only rebounded to where he was before as a wrestler, he rose above it, never used it as an excuse, excuse, and accomplished Hall of Fame success, which speaks not only to the type of athlete he was on the mat, but also the type of man he would become. After continued success in his sophomore and junior years, Craig really turned it on his senior year. While leading his uh, team to uh, East NJT's 300 school victory down at Disney World, uh, Craig's season as an individual was one for the ages, uh, as you heard earlier. A state qualifier with a 35-3 record, uh, and the first to break the 100 career win mark speaks for itself. We are here tonight not only to recognize Craig's amaz amazing accomplishments on the mat, but we are also here to honor an incredible individual. Craig has taken his love of wrestling into adulthood. He is currently a science teacher at Northeast High School in Philadelphia and contributes greatly to the wrestling program there. His students and wrestlers are the beneficiaries of his contribution, not only because of his knowledge and athletic skill, but because those students and wrestlers have access to this role model that shows us how to present yourself as husband, athlete, teacher, and coach, and to do all of those things with grace and professionalism. If I could choose for my own son or daughter, a model to follow in life, it would be 2012 Central Bucks East Athletic Hall of Fame inductee, Mr. Craig Feldman. Turn it off for a second and then put it back on. Turn it off and then put it back on again.